Welcome back to Cardio News Channel 13 at noon. Hope your Wednesday has been treating you well. We've been dealing with warmer and sunnier conditions across southern Colorado, but that wind has just been so strong. We'll get to that momentarily, but first I had to show you this view from one of our exclusive Vero Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network cameras in Lyman. If you were watching Good Morning Colorado this morning, you did see that we had more snow, slush, and ice on some of those streets, but thankfully, due to those warming temperatures and more of that sunlight, we're seeing some of that melt. Now to that wind. Right now, this anemometer from our Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center Neighborhood Weather Network camera is showing calm conditions, but elsewhere, we've really seen some very strong winds. So the wind is uh, just strong enough to whip that flag around. Temperatures there range in the low 40s. The National Weather Service, due to these very powerful gusts, has issued this high wind warning for El Paso County. It continues until 4 p.m. During this time, we can see those sustained wind speeds between 35 to 45 miles an hour and those surprise gusts up to about 65 miles an hour. At the Air Force Academy already this afternoon, we have seen some of those gusts up to about 61 miles an hour. Now here's a look at where we'll stand in terms of those wind speeds later on this afternoon. We pause the clock at 5 p.m. and you see that we could see those wind speeds up into the 20 to 30 mile per hour zone, if not more than that. Current temperatures range in the 50s and the 60s, much warmer compared to what we saw yesterday, or in some of the 20s through the, th through the 30s for the mountains. We're staying dry across southern Colorado quite a change compared to where we were just 24 hours ago. We have been dealing with a bit, of, a bit of a rain and snow mix for some of the Northwest Mountains and the foothills. That's about it. And that's all we were really expecting. As we go throughout the afternoon, we could continue to see some of those building clouds for some of the central and northern mountains, along with a bit of that snow. Skycast is suggesting a spotty shower for the northeastern plains, but some of our other forecast models are not hinting at that. We'll keep you posted. Lows overnight will be cool under mostly clear skies. Bundle up as you step outside. We'll be in some of the 20s and the teens for the lower elevations, with the teens for the mountains and the single digits for Alamosa. Friday's our next opportunity for rain and snow mix. Temperatures will be in some of the low 40s as we usher in a weak cold front. Now, Saturday, temperatures will be chilly. We'll be in the upper 30s. But take a look at Sunday. Temperatures will boost to the low 50s. We stay in the 50s through Tuesday before our next cold front rolls on in next Wednesday. In Pueblo, we're looking to stay dry as we head throughout the rest of the work week into the weekend. And in Pueblo, right Right now, at least into the extended forecast, we're looking pretty dry. Temperatures fluctuate in some of the 40s and 50s, reaching the low 60s by Monday. 52 tomorrow for Canyon City. Low 50s we stay on Friday as we welcome that cold front. Saturday we stay relatively cool, but we'll warm up those temperatures in no time. Sunday we'll reach 55 degrees. In Canyon City, we're looking to stay nice and dry as we head into Tuesday with our next possibility for a wintry mix on Wednesday. 38 tomorrow for Teller County. Mid 30s the name of the game on Friday. Dry through the weekend. Great for exploring. In southern Colorado, and we stay dry all the way through Tuesday with the rain and snow mix resuming on Wednesday. We will have other live looks for you as well as your high temperatures for tomorrow coming up next. All right, it's, uh, some of these scenes uh, we're seeing are just beautiful with Gorgeous. the snow still around, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the wind is nasty. Yeah, the wind is nasty. Thankfully, though, we're seeing a bit more sunshine.